morning, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Do you all feel the heat I feel? After Ruan's speech, he was talking all about the safety, right? Do you all feel the heat? Do you guys feel the heat? I need some sound. Great. What Ruan talked is totally very positive. What he showed happened, and it can happen again if proper precautions are not taken in safety. Dawn of a new era in adventure-based training. We at SHE are very passionate about training, molding, right, your staff, your employees through adventure-based OBT training. Uh, if you can remember what Peter said, our mindset, how it plays with us, right, when certain risks and challenges are put. Have you ever uh, come across a situation where your mindset, when you want to do something, uh, a you're going to take a risk, right? Your mind says, don't do it, don't do it. But a prompting comes from a person inside who says, let's do it. Anybody has felt that? Anybody has felt that? Great. Listen to that prompting. Mind plays with us. So through adventure base, OBD, uh, through adventure base training, we help you to remove that tag. That fear factor is a tag we put here on our mind, right? We help you to go beyond the boundary, go beyond. That's where you will experience your real self. If you ask me, I have been a totally wild person, right? If you ask, I, I mean, there are so many familiar faces here, right? She's laughing, she's smiling, right? She has always seen me in a wild jungle attire, right? And most of you all took some time to recognize me in a tie and coat. That is my passion. That is why once I came back to Sri Lanka, I thought, OK, I won't go back. I'll stick with a professional company and share my expertise. That's why I joined Che. Because me, to maintain my reputation, my name, I had to make sure that I am with a, prof a proper outfitter. So that's why I chose Che, and I'm here to stay. Right? OK. Can I refer to you as ladies and gentlemen now, or guys? Guys, thank you so much. Y'all are putting me in the mood. What do y'all see here? Just tell me what comes into your mind first. I can just shout out, this is your day. A dot? Good? Anything else? What do you all see? What comes into your mind first? Sorry? A? Uh? Whiteboard. Good? A focus point. A target? Okay. Super. What else? One from this side, guys. A black hole. Good? That's what hits us first. Okay? These, we, are, we are playing with our mind now. What do you see here? A dot. Good. OK. This is, I, I'm just correlating this, how our mind works. When something is given, a task is given, right? We would always see what hits us most is the smaller picture, the black hole, the dot, the target, right? That gentleman was thinking the bigger picture. Raise your hand up, sir. Well done. We'll give him a good applause. Why? He's looking at a bigger picture. Right? Yes, what hits us here, this is where, where our brain takes us. But always look at the bigger picture, what is around. We at Shea, we are looking at a bigger picture. Right? And that is what has made us become Sri Lanka's number one uh, OBT a training company, OBT training solution provider, right? 
as Peter handed over the torch, Che was taken over by the brainchild, I would say the godfather, you say Asit Guna right? And in 2014, Che bloomed out into outbound training, right? The camp, the Mr. Yasid Gunawadana had a vision. One of the visions which was made into reality is today, right? Getting you all, the cream of HR and training family together, right? Che is home to many qualified uh, corporate trainers and facilitators. Advantage of Che being closest to Colombo, which is just 35 kilometers. I'm just sharing some uh, details with you. Che Adventure Park is an eco-adventure park located close to Colombo district, bordering the Canley River. Same river where we do the rafting, 80 kilometers further up. Here we do the flat water, the choppy water section. The property is known as Asmadal among the villagers, as this land was used by King uh, Sita Raja Singha, who restored his war horses at ancient time. Now this is where the uh, war horses rested, the rock where Peter was talking about. Still there up to date. Though Peter used it, the rock is still there in one piece. As a unit, we are more popular for adventure sports, outdoor camping and corporate training with uh, uh, traditional Sri Lankan hospitality. We provide a large range of adventure activities on and off site. Our management and instructors are experienced qualified professionals. They're mo mostly retired um, military, right? When I say retired, not that they had jumped 65 years, but guys who have uh, uh, passed uh, five, 12 years, and guys who are with us, and they are trained in outbound training, right? outbound training plus medical uh, evacuation in emergency situations. They are also chosen for their proven ability in adventure sports, outdoor camping. Our strength in outbound, uh, adventure-based outbound training first is our people, right? Our equipment, environment, and activities. Our people, like I said, are not outsourced, they are our own team. Now, I'm sharing you to you our strengths among the others, right, compared with others. It's our own team. Nothing is outsourced. Guys who are professionally qualified in adventure-based training and emergency medical uh, evacuation situation. The equipment is of the highest quality, right? As Ruan was saying, when we are into adventure, when you send your clients to us, they are our responsibility. From the time you bought them in the bus, they come to the, uh, enter the campsite, they are our baby. We have to look after them till they leave the campsite. So we go with the best of equipment, which is a, a Petzl brand, which is used worldwide, right, for high-risk adventure sports. It's a French brand, and we are happy to say that it's a Rouen of seals who brings it down. Right? Most of the equipment, the branded equipment, we are with Rouen, and we also follow all the safety protocols as uh, uh, mentioned by Ruan. And the environment. Che Adventure Park is spread across 15 acres of land, which makes us the largest training company, training solution company in Sri Lanka. We, have, we, don't, we do not have to go out anywhere. Like I said, we have programs on and off site. We have rock, water, land, and the jungle totally surrounded within that 15 acres. So all our land, all our uh, activities take place in the same site. Your employees do not move, right? Everything happens in the same site. And the activity, and the activity, totally. We have a range of activities, almost up to uh, 40 of the activities in adventure which we conduct there. That, it differs according to your uh, requirement. Uh, like I said, our people, our team consists of ex-military personnel who are strict discipline in uh, disciplinaries in following international standards in maintaining safety standards. They are trained and certified in medic emergency situations, first aid training in land and river situations. 
They are trained in all aspects of adventure-based OBT training. So what more can you ask for when you send your employees for a training? J uses, like I said, the world-renowned French brand Petrol Equipment and Kronos brand from USA. These are used worldwide in high-end high -end adventure. And my, like I said, Ruan uh, maintains uh, supplying us with the best of safety equipment. So we have, we are very safe. Don't you think so? Do you all feel cooler now by the heat which Ruan left us earlier? Do you all feel cooler now? Yes, great. Like the facility, like I said, a rock, river, and jungle, right? And each, every area is scrutinized for safety. We just don't put out your employees out uh, when it comes to training. Che is, like I said, uh, bordering uh, the Canary River across 15 acres. And our, one of our strengths is accommodation, where we can accommodate up to 400 participants to stay overnight in the tents. We have a different range of uh, all base tents, right? What you see are all double bedded tents, where some tents can accommodate eight people, 16 people, and 20. Right, like that, we can accommodate up to 400 participants a night. And we can also feed them. Don't worry. Right, we have the facility, right, where a total package is given. Right, and when you say, why do we, if you ask me, why do we give uh, your participants in double beds? Why can't we give them a single bed? Some of you all, when you uh, come out and say, can we have a single bed, but the director says, no, put them in the double bed. Why? There is a reason there, because their bonding starts from the time uh, their accommodation comes in. Not that they're sleeping together, but <laughs> they are, they are uh, how they rough out, right? It can be the guy, I mean, you might be sleeping, when you come for training, you might be sleeping next to a guy who would be snoring away, right? Or he, he might, have some kind of odor coming out, right? But then that's how you bond with him. You come out totally positively after three days. And then, like I said, we have the double bedded. These are the 16 manor tents. And like in the military, we have the bunk beds, right? Plus, we have the large halls. Like I said, we provide meals. We have the large halls where 300 participants could be accommodated. One hall, uh, 300 participants could be accommodated for meals, plus uh, any, if you all are having any meetings or conferences, right? And now we go to the training activities. We have a range of activities which we offer, starting from uh, the rope activities, the aerial rope, right, which is done across uh, the Canary River, which is done across a 60, uh, 100 meter uh, cable, 120 meter cable, right, which is done maximum 14 seconds. Anybody who has witnessed the aerial rope? Who has experienced the aerial rope? Okay, great. And the flat water rafting, which we do in the Canal River for approximately five kilometers. Once again, it's a 15 manor raft where they go, they race, they pedal five kilometers uh, in boats as teams. Right, and we are proud to say we have introduced for the first time night water rafting, the flat water, right, where they go with head torches. Anybody has experienced night water rafting? No. Make sure you come to Che and experience it. And then we have the rock climbing, jungle trekking, and mountain biking, low rope and high rope courses, and obstacle crossing, barrel and bamboo raft building, and water crossing. Furthermore, we have our very own paintball arena, right, which we use the latest Kronos brand uh, weapons from America, right? It's a very high octane uh, team game. Treasure hunting, marksmanship, archery, spider web, and the trust fall activities. In trust fall is from different levels, like from one from a five footer to a seven footer, right? And the marksmanship, the target shooting, which you see. Uh, which we use, the weapons which we use are a Spanish brand weapon, right? 
Okay, now that I showed what we have to offer at Shea, we get, we get down right to the hardcore. How do we deliver our programs? It's through experiential learning a methodology which we use. A touch wheel. Adventure is all about touch wheel situations, right? You all come in. Why do you send your participants? You all get out of the comfort zone, come for a learning experience. Because we know we cannot survive. You all come from the concrete jungle, and you come to the real jungle to get that experience. Because we know we cannot survive as a single person. I always say, right? Y'all are ladies and gentlemen in the corporate who are climbing the corporate ladder. Very often it's easy to come to the top, but to stay at the top and stay there is the hardest. Right? That is the hardest. So each activity which we have has a different learning experience. Right? We cannot act alone. We have to work as teams if we are to move forward. Good example, can everybody take the little V finger? Can can you show it to me? Hold on. Can I show it? OK. Everybody up. Fingers up. OK. Can you just tap it? Now, there are about three, almost 400 ladies and gentlemen here. Can we hear a noise? No. This is me. This is you alone. Take two fingers and tap it. Take three. Take four fingers. Take five. See the noise it can make if you work as a team. So teamwork is very important. How we do, how we work around the, uh, the explanation learning methodology is we first share, we make the participants who go through a series of activities, right? And very often, they are not able to achieve their tasks while doing the activities. We, we have a debriefing after each activity. Right? And we always correlate their learning experience to the workplace. Right? So it's always about a touch field operation, right? touch field experience. Before the training, what we do is we, how we get the real uh, program which you need is we share a training need analysis. Right? Always, we don't give just a basic training for everybody. Right, for every program. We, share, we call it a TNA, where we share it with you all. you all. You all tell us what you want out of the program, what your objectives are out of the program. Accordingly, we'll set up a program and share it with you. If it's right, or if it has to be adjusted, we do it, right? And then we go ahead in executing the program. Chep, like I said, we are the only company who who maintains a proper TNA, a training need analysis, right? That's how we have been successful so far, right, in conducting our programs. Range of OBD programs on offer. We have base OBD programs, which is run inside the campsite. Then we have the race challenge OBD programs, which takes outside of the camp through villages, streams, and uh, river. And we have one to six day multi-day multi OBD programs, adventure-based OBD programs. And we have battle challenge OBD programs, like in the military, we put them into situations in gear, like in real military battle, plus Marvel team based programs, like in the, like how the Romans went through Troy, Trojan, that kind of situation, right? We give them the gear, they make up their own castle, they make up their own carts, like you see in Ben Hur, and their own Roman uh, attire. So these are some of the pictures which a uh, race challenge uh, participants would go through. And we also include spiritual awakening activities like meditation, yoga, right? stress management. And after a program, always, we Sri Lankans, we want to let loose and chill. Right? Kochara gilla mansuna, handair pori shortega dan noni. Nathan nani, if you guys, I'm sure all the HR and training heads here, when you send your participants, before coming for the training, they come and ask you, sir, handair drink at you know? That always happens. Right? We won't say, we have restrictions, right? because it's an adventure-based uh, adventure program. They have to have that learning experience. But we have uh, entertainment which we offer, like music, uh, Eastern Calypso bands, live music bands, right? a DJ, Pedro Party, etc. 
Okay, hardcore, Perf our performance statistics since 2014. We have passed 1,000 plus programs. It's a huge achievement, passing, doing 2,000, uh, facilitating 2,000 participants a month, we have passed 1,000 programs, plus programs, right? And I'm honored to be part of CHE, right? Participant facilitated per month, 2,000 plus. Our corporate clients, 350 plus. Our value trusted corporates who are placed their trust in us, and most of our corporate clients are repeats. I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. And the feedback score is 85%. Like I said, most of them are repeats and word by mouth. These are some of our clients, all right? Uh, we have uh, international and local brands uh, coming in. We have schools, international schools, overseas coming in and doing training with us, right? Our core competencies, we have best practice safety protocols which we follow. That is why, in spite of these uh, safety practices we follow, right, we are very strict on that, like Ruan of uh, SEAL said, safety is our prime concern. We do not take chances with your employees. And the distance to campsite is the closest to Colombo, Candy, the main areas, and our qualified trainer team and uh, ad adventure activities where none could match, which takes all takes place at the same site. And the branded adventure equipment, very specially. As Ruan said, we are partnered with Ruan in by most of the top branded uh, equipment from SEALs. And this is my adventure facilitator team, who are all, like I said, para ex-military guys who are trained in OBT. It ranges from commandos to SF boys, to Yafo's para uh, boys. Once again, we have made a milestone is we are the only company, adventure-based trading company in Sri Lanka who is offering a four million insurance cover. Why? Because we follow strict safety protocols, as Ruan said. That is have been our prime concern. This we have been maintaining since 2014, right? And up to now, ladies and gentlemen, there has been no claims met. Thank you. So since 2014, no claims met, right? I'm sure the company Alliance is very happy with that. <laughs> right? They are our insurance provider. We once again, have since 2014, are maintaining a zero injury record. Why? Because our people are the best in train in adventure and safety, the equipment we use, and the facility. Right? Don't, don't, don't believe what I say, but please log into Facebook. Right? Check out our, our uh, customer feedbacks, customer reviews. Check it out. There'll be thousands. You can go now, check it out. There'll be thousands but none of them will mention about a safe uh, uh, injury. I'm proud to be here sharing that with you. Okay, what's next? Future of adventure-based training with Che. I would ask you, what do you think we are embarking on next? Give me an idea. Give me, a, come on, share it. We are going, we are going on to the next step. Skydiving, very adventurous lady. Okay. Any other thoughts? Guys, we are thinking big now. Today, y'all are here sharing with us, being here because we are going to the next, next gen of adventure-based training. Tell me, skydiving? Any other contributions? Okay. We are embarking the next step of adventure-based training, coupling it with sea, sky, and soil. Right. We are moving away from the traditional activities which have been taking place. We are going to give something new, but these are all high-end 
uh, OBD, adventure-based OBD programs, high-end and with limited numbers, maximum 12 to 15 will be in a team, right? J Adventure Park was limited to Hangweller, right? And now we have spread our wings. We are going right around Sri Lanka. We have joined with nine professional adventure outfitter bodies in Sri Lanka. Right. They, why we have joined them is they have their own people. They have good safety records, right, and the environment. Taking all those into consideration, we are nine outfitters, so Che is not limited to Hangwella. We have a big family, and we are moving forward from today. River Adventure, I'll tell you, River Adventure is uh, one of the largest water sports centers down south, run by Damesh, right? He's the only guy who has this flying fish, right? You might wonder how come these, these are all incorporated into outbound training program and could be run in these locations, these in Aludgama, right? And whitewater uh, mountain biking and whitewater rafting, Peter, my good buddy, right, who actually pioneered in bar, uh, mountain biking, and um, whitewater uh, uh, rafting. His site is in Kitulgala, right? Where rafting is not only limited to Kitulgala, right? Peter will agree with me. We have opened up so many other rivers, right? But it's, yeah. And it has to be made use of, right? So don't think rafting is only Kitulgala. And International Diving School is uh, Mr. Somadasa de Silva. They are located in Hikkadua and Trinkamali, where you might think, OK, what is this wild guy talking to, taking us diving in OBT training? Diving is so high tech, right? Like I said, these are top end programs where we inculcate those into OBT training programs. Somadasa is a pioneer in diving, starting his uh, diving school in 1964. So once again, they are all with Che. They are all partnered up with Che Adventure Park. Skydiving. This lady said skydiving. Uh, yes, we have included skydiving and outbound training programs. Right? It's a high end. Right? It's trained. And after the skydiving activity, we will uh, use Kogale area for the rest of the OBT program. Right. And we are happy to say skydiving um, and Serendip Airways and JF Tours are with us, partnered with us. Flying Ravana. Proud to say they are one of, they have introduced the largest, the longest uh, aerial rope or the zip flying or the flying fox we call it in Alla, 550 meters, right? And maximum, it goes at uh, the speed of 80 kilometers per hour, right? And now they have developed a dual line. So we are proud to say Flying Ravana has joined hands with us. They are with Che. So we can, uh, we can conduct uh, OBT training, adventure-based OBT training programs in Alla too. We are so strong. Climb Blanca run by Sachet, right, is a uh, rock site, 13 meter rock site. Uh, they use the single ropes and taking all the safety precautions, which is in Homagama. Kite surfing. Now you must be thinking, this guy is really cuckoo. When I say kite surfing in OBT program, yes. We are cuckoo, we are wild, that's why we are going beyond our boundaries. But we are doing this, taking the calculated risk. Kite, kites have been done by Dilsire in Kalpatiya. Right, this is a season there. And we introduce kite surfing, we train you, right? We train you to do the basics in kite surfing and run the rest of the program in Kalpatiya. On the beach, we arrange obstacle course, mountain biking on Kalpatiya beach. And Polaris, who are bringing our ATVs, they are with us, who supports us. Once again, they are partnered with us, who supports us with uh, the ATVs to run our uh, race-based uh, OBT training programs. Jet Water Sports is run by Dakshit, right? Dakshit's uh, sites are located in all jet wing hotels, right? Being uh, Ardern Water Sports guy, we in introduce all these activities water sports into the OBD trainings. So our programs could be conducted in any of the jet wing hotels where Dakshit has his uh, uh, adventure, the water-based activities. So there, he is once again partnered with us. OK, so showing that. Present employee assessment versus future of high-tech employee assessment. So far, we are 
been doing uh, how do we contact our employee assessments on paper, right? The feedbacks, everything is done on paper, and very often we, the, where does the paper go into the personal file or in a drawer? Very often, and then when it comes in for evaluation, it's forgotten or it's put in a computer and that file cannot be found, right? So we, at Chayden Park, we have taken a, a step forward. So the modern day corporate citizen is an extremely stressed, hyper-driven individual who has no time to stop and think as the life is always on the move. Irrespective of the department industry they are involved in. So I invite all HR and training families here who are gathered here, start changing gears, right? Start changing gears. Partner up with Shea for your next adventure-based OBD training program, right? Never give up on your passions, never give up on your dreams, right? That's all about sharing. We at Shea, we are passionate about what we do. We are totally passionate about what we do. You should always value the change. We are here to make changes in your employee, in your employees, right? If you ask about passion, my personal experience, going through a 21-day uh, or and the 30-day challenge program, a wilderness challenge program in Malaysia, it was all top corporates. I'll quickly share my 21-day experience. We were put in the jungle. One instructor, what do we get? A backpack, a sleeping mat, and one tin cup. That tin cup is where we used to make our food, wash it, and drink the water also. We didn't have a plate. A torch and a compass. The instructor has the compass. Right. So 21 days in the jungle, what the jungle has to offer. The cook, who was the guy who was supposed to cook, he was a Chinese. We never understood his language, nor did he understand what uh, our language. Imagine what we ate. <laughs> Just imagine, guys. But we had to manage. We started accepting it. We started accepting each other, all our difficulties, all our shortcomings. We started accepting. Halfway through, we were given a lot of chocolates, so most of the guys had opted to eat the chocolates and stay constipated, then eating that guy's food. <laughs> that helps, right? Like I said, never, never give up on your passions, never give up on your dreams, right? My personal uh, uh, experience, my passion, I used to call it W-A-R. You can write it down, write W. Under it, write A. You can write R. Those are my three passions my, in my bucket list, right? Just write it and keep. Way back, my person, way back when I was uh, uh, out near a, well, near a, near a tour like a Whitewater River, I saw once this uh, team of ladies and guys who were uh, trying to do jumps into the stream. Right, like the waterfall jumps. So we, I went with my team and I actually went and offered my hand to this lady and said, okay, uh, can I help you? Because she was on the rock crying. Now she was with her office mate, she was crying. Right, so to sympathy, not for anything else. I went and offered my hand and said, can I help you? Right, because with our experience here, we have no fear. Right, it's a huge fall, uh, a waterfall. And she looked at me and she said, why should I jump with you? I mean, <laughs> right? I, I, I never thought I'd get that reply. Right? But, but I was doing it with passion because we were doing that jump. And I said, OK, can I see why should I jump with you? Who the deacons are you? So like, I mean, what my status was. Right? So she, she didn't hold my hand. She held another skinny guy's hand from her team and jumped into the water. Now, I'm supposed to be the adventurer, the wild guy. But I never gave up on my passion. I never gave up on my dreams, right? The lady who refused to take my hand then uh, took my hand a few months back, and she happens to be my wife who married me. <laughs> Guys, chase behind your passion. <laughs> Not that I'm saying in that way, but 
listen to your heart. The same, same passion, the same feelings your employees will have. Make sure your employees get the proper training. It's up to you all to make sure you all go to the right outfitter. Like Ruan said, check their equipment, everything. Right? But listen to the person who will prompt you from inside. Like I said, you all wrote WAR. Right? My bucket list, W was women, but now it has become wife. So you can take it off. Right? A and R is adventure. Other one is rafting, which I'm still passionate about, which I'm still sharing. So you can take the W off, but the A and the R, I'm still following. OK, I'll leave you the thought, the final thought. If you give a man a fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Sorry, if you give a man, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. At Che Adventure Park, we are passionate about what we do. We are feeding, we are training and developing your, your employees. We are developing y'all and gearing y'all to live a lifetime. Thank you.